this time we'd like to present you something about seating constructions, not the modern seatings we have here, more about how to create domes, cross vaults, vaults that you predominantly have in older buildings. This is the hall with cross vaults which I like to construct for you. You can use the principle that we're using here also for creating domes or other vaults. You can see the cross vaults here and there. This is the floor plan indicating the right positions and the size. And let me first of all show you how you can do that with a boolean operation. I start with nothing but a simple cube. I can change the size, for example, by two meters with one meter height. I use a cylinder, which needs to be rotated so that it is horizontal. It can be two meters wide, two meters long, and two meters also in the third direction. So now they share the same position. And to make it easier visible, I can stretch it. Let's have a look at that in 3D mode. Slightly lower. Now I copy it, Control C and Control V plus rotation. Now these two cylinders are stuck inside the cube. I use the Boolean operations, subtract, and I have to make sure that the cube is marked red, as this is the object which is going to remain. So this is the object which I'll be using for the vault. I can position it right below the original ceiling. And then let's have a look at the floor plan. This will be the first one. I can copy it. And like you can see here, you can easily adapt it. in the size, or you may use another boolean operation if the angles are not correct. In this way you can create the entire hall, and sometimes you need arcs in between which you can create in the same method as explained. Mm -hmm.